This is a 1973 1974 Teledyne Packard Bell hybrid portable color television. And this is going to be a show and tell video that was requested some time ago. Um, this set is basically brand new old stock. It's a little beat up. The knob's broken off. This came off uh, the showroom floor of a Teledyne Packard Bell dealer that we cleaned out about five, eight years ago, something like that. And I believe this set is made by NEC. And by the way, this video is in 4K for those of you who can enjoy that. The model is 3C132. And I believe this set was made by NEC in Japan. Like you can see it says Japan right there, June 1973, Teledyne Packard Bell. So this is one of those imports, uh, rebranded imports, which a lot of the American manufacturers were starting to do around this time. And in this video, I'm pretty much just going to pull the back off. We're going to look at it. We'll check the CRT. We'll look at some of the promotional material and we'll plug it in and turn it on and do a setup. I'm pretty sure this set is basically new old stock. It was like a display model in a showroom running so I don't really know what kind of hours it has on it. I suspect they're pretty low. This is the Packard Bell catalog for 1974 and this is when stuff started to get real tacky with the particle board and the crappy vinyl veneer and just the overall kind of cheesy uh, graphics and solid state computer age space age I mean just absolutely hideous looking And this was also in the infancy of solid state where it was super unreliable. Yeah, just taking a, yeah, what a combination. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. Got our video camera with our emotional support television and our dog console so anyway here it is right here this one right here 13 inch diagonal picture and outstanding reasons can be summed up in three words features style and performance I don't know about the style pretty pretty hiss hideous yeah that, that right there yeah you know they started to use these kind of space space age crappy fonts it's like, ooh, we're going to the moon today. Anyway, gives you an idea of the mid-70s. Here's the price right here. So 3C 132, 13 inch color. The uh, Manufacturer suggested MSRP was $299.95. This is 1974. And the dealer cost was $248. So that's what they were making 50 bucks on it. Uh, it. Yeah, it weighs 47 pounds. I believe it. It's a bunch of your old World War II uh, recycled ships sent off to Japan and come back as TVs at the inside it's kind of interesting how rare 
these early tube and hybrid and even early solid state Japanese sets have become, they're just extinct. They're so hard to find now. If you see one, grab it. But anyway, yeah, it, it does appear to be NEC. At least the tubes are branded NEC, the ones that haven't been changed. And I guess the set is a little bit higher hour than I thought. I thought I had one of these around here that was pretty much new old stock. Uh, but yeah, I, I believe this was a... It's interesting there are tubes stuffed inside here. We'll have to take a look at this. See what we got stored in here. Genuine factory replacement Packard belt. Six LR six. What? NEC bad cap. Okay, so there's the original NEC horizontal output tube, and yeah, the cap, the cap failed, or the, the wires burned off here, so that's kind of interesting. It's the original, original horizontal output tube, so it can't have that many hours on it. Let's see, there's another one jammed up in here. Seventeen AY three. We got all kinds of noise going on out here. Airplanes, birds. Oh, here's the original NEC uh, damper tube. That looks pretty well roasted, or the, like it's gone to air. Yeah, this must have been a test unit or something. Why would you keep the tubes inside there? Hey, so there's your normal service switch. There are all your drives. No, uh crappy capacitors in here that I can see the IF and all that solid state it's underneath here the convergence assembly is up here vertical adjustments this is a series string set, at least for the tubes. There's no uh, no power transformer. That looks like a transformer right there. What I wonder what that is—a vertical out, maybe. Anyways, you can see uh, very good quality. Let's get the CRT tester on it and see how virgin it is. Here's a quick look at the tube chart. Oh, I guess it does have some type of power transformer in it there. This is back when Japan was undercutting the United States, overcharging their people and undercharging us, so they kill the American television manufacturers. 
Okay, testing a CRT in 4K. Where's the logic in that? Except that it's 2019 and most basic cell phones will record in 4K. So you got 6.3 volts. Let's set the cutoff. Let it warm up a minute. Make sure I got the right. Oh, here we go. Okay, bring it up one small division. Still warming up. It's been sitting for quite a while. It's pretty healthy. That's what I thought. This is a very low hour set. I need to let it warm up for a minute. See, it's still coming up. Let me let it warm up for a couple minutes. It's been, uh, had time to kind of stabilize. So the green gun's a little bit lower than the other ones. Maybe it just needs to be cleaned or whatever, but I'm not going to touch it because... And it's good to test a variety of tubes on your on your CRT tester that way you get used to you know and I can tell you this is a very strong tube usually most used tubes test in the yellow green patches so for this to be up this high I mean that's one milliamp right is that what I think that's what that is one milliamp of cathode current so yeah you mean you could you could bring it up there if you wanted to make yourself happy. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a very happy CRT. Check out how the CRT sockets put together with screws. None of this melted over plastic tab crap. There's a horizontal phase detector diode right there. Take a look inside the high voltage cage. Nice soft rubber cap. Flyback looks in great condition. You see they had these vented. They didn't use sealed boxes. They had holes in these so that the flybacks would stay a little bit cooler and not totally melt down like they did in lovely American-made Packard Bells. Okay, we got the 1973-74 Packard Bell hooked up to the VG91 pattern generator. And um, let's turn her on and see what she does. So the sound... This, Obviously, the sound is all solid state. So a horizontal hold is here we go. And you can always date. You can always date this mid-70s stuff by these slide pots. These were only popular, what, 72 through 75, if that. Real narrow window where they use this.
convergence is a little bit whacked right up here. But other than that, it looks good. It's just the blue. That looks very nice. These things really worked good. It's, it's, it's too bad that they were so easy to just put in the trash when they quit working, unlike consoles. Mo these, about 99% of these are gone. Unbox your best rest yet. You're unique, and you need a mattress that fits the way you sleep. Introducing the R1 Plus and R2 Plus from Revive. R1 Plus uses advanced graphite memory foam to keep you cool through the night. R2 Plus has cool bounce copper gel for comfort you can feel. Choose your comfort level, firm, medium, or plush, and we'll take care of the rest with free shipping nationwide. Visit the Revive Sleep Center inside Living Spaces to experience the difference. Living Spaces. Car wrecks are devastating. Never talk, settle, or deal with the insurance company without Jacoby and Myers on your side. Call us first. We've been on your side for more than 40 years. Pat Harvey, weeknights on CBS2 News, on your side. Crap, hold on, let me get off of that. This title 13, article 13, whatever it's called, will get you in a second on this stuff now. No more sports team. You have to keep sports team off your... Tell from here that the landing area is blind to the player's eye. Oh, probably this too. Okay, you know what? This old house, trade school, part of one magnificent morning on the CW. We'll be right back. Okay, commercials. Sorry. It's unstoppable. It can go on the floor, the walls, into nooks. And God, all these pots are just crusty and dirty. Everywhere. The Home Depot has tiles, latest trends, and textures, from classic to unexpected. All at an unexpected magnificent picture. It's great. See where it can take you. Get slip resistant tires and starting at 199. No buzz in the sound because the sound is all solid state and it's probably still in alignment. Um no buzzing. Reassurance. You're doing what's right to your dog from fleas and ticks for a full month. This one little next guard chew is the number one vet recommended protection. And it's the only chew FDA approved to prevent infections that cause Lyme disease. Mmm, I love Lyme disease. Puppies. There's a lot of power in this one little next guard chew. Next guard, what one little chew can do. Okay, everyone, our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Great tasting Ensure, with 9 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals. Ensure, for strength and energy. Look for savings in your weekly paper. I had this chest cold, but my medicine kept wearing off. <coughs> ah, I missed you. Then I discovered Mucinex. One pill lasts 12 hours, and I'm good. And the features. Our hop end. This is nature's penguins, rated G. By seeing the film opening week, audiences will help protect penguins around the world. In theaters and oh yeah, save the penguins. Go out and see a movie. Through your allergies, people everywhere are reaching for Allegra, the fastest non-drowsy allergy relief. It starts strong and stays strong for 24 hours. Kit, including this one-of-a-kind Animal Champion t-shirt designed exclusively for animal lovers like you. If your heart breaks at the thought God of an animal... Trading a futures contract and it just kept rallying to this area where my OTA skills and strategies have taught me I'd be interested in selling. Yeah, what are your OTA skills? I made $32,000. Is an OTA on the air? What are your OTA skills? Happen, but it's kind of cool when it does. That's the kind of powerful information and knowledge that you can gain from going to OTA and learning the course. I love my OTA skills. 
makes sense. That means lower interest rates, a better warranty, and the option for upgrading. Talk about upgrade. Look at this 2014 Toyota Sienna. Mm. Perfect family car. The kids and you are going to love this one. Your membership online to make payments, updates to your accounts, or to access special member only offers. Now you get peace of mind with one of the most comprehensive and trusted roadside assistance programs in the country with a AAA money. Sure, you look like someone who sits around and talks on the phone and takes phone calls all day. How many other plans only cover your car? Yeah, let's sell you a $280 junk battery that'll last 18 months. Car, SUV or pickup truck. And there's And we'll break the neck off your radiator when while our qualified specialized seasoned technicians Install your battery. Into the line. Got to get off that. All right. There it is, and NEC, see the little dot right there in that cool, the NEC made, made in Japan, 1973-74, 48-pound Packard Bell rebrand, color television, super low hour. Okay, here's the other one, I remembered where it was and dug it out. And I thought this one was new old stock, or one of the two of them was, but this one looks... Uh, well, it's real dirty because it's just been sitting in a kind of a crusty area. But you can see this one has the knob. It has uh, both antennas are in good shape. This one has the UHF loop antenna. I don't know, did the other one have the UHF loop antenna? Um, same model. I love how they put the Los Angeles area on something that was made in Japan. Los Angeles address. So let me pop the back of this one open and we'll just check the CRT in it. I could swear one of these was like new. Showroom floor fresh. Okay, well this one looks a little bit better inside. A little bit cleaner. And it appears that the only vacuum bulb that's been changed is the damper. Which has been changed with the Westinghouse, but it's got the original NEC horizontal output tube. And it's got, oh yeah, they're all original except the damper. I'm not going to fire this one up, but we'll pop the CRT tester on it and see how this one checks out. What will be interesting to see here is I haven't touched any of the settings from the other TV. So I'm on cutoff right now and you can see the green was a lot weaker on the other TV. Look at the green here. That's just cutoff. So I'm going to... So it looks like that one's a lot stronger. Red, green is way stronger on this TV. And it looks like this one's a little weaker. So here we go. Oh crap. That's a new old stock CRT right there. Or real close to it. That sucker is strong. Good on my cutoff, right? Yep. That is what you call one strong CRT. So that's kind of the benchmark right there for videos in the future when I use this CRT tester and I'm not even at 6.3 volts. I don't think I'm a little bit below it So 
So that's what a good CRT looks like, and it's at uh, 1.4. I'm going to fire this one up. We got a little Sony TV here I want to take a look at in this video. And uh, there might be another one of these around here. I remember when I was cleaning that place out, I grabbed all the small metal tabletop stuff I could. So there might actually be another one of these. I know there's the bigger ones, too, buried around here somewhere. While we're on the topic of 12, 13-inch portables, how about this one? Sony Trinitron. Someone gave me this. I don't know. I don't even want this. This is too new for me. This is just... I guess it's not so bad, new that it's like totally disgusting but it's new enough to where it holds little to no interest for me so we can play with it for a little bit here I mean this is so new it has memory uh... master on off picture add erase channels this has got to be 90s Get in on that Trinitron label there. Don't dare call it a Trinitrd because the Trinitron fanboy cult will come after you and will extinguish your life. Emotional support television with missing cord. Does my emotional, uh, emotional support television have a missing... Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Let's plug it in and see if it'll emotionally support my... Fulfill my emotional support needs. This is a KV-1222 emotion, emotional support television. Kind of green... Oh, there it goes. Hey, that looks good. These were good TVs for their time. They're just not old enough to hold my interest, really. This should get channel 6, maybe. There you go. There's channel 6. I just... The display is right here. I just can't see it in the sun. Que le enseñemos a nuestros hijos a valerse, a valerse por sí mismos, a tener buenos hábitos, a tener, a ser gente de bien. Eso es mucho más importante que el rótulo del papel que dice a qué universidades fueron. El nombre de esto es lo que yo ponía en el en la nota de Facebook. El nombre de nuestros hijos al final del día. Es más importante que el nombre de la universidad. Que el nombre de nuestros hijos represente buenos valores. Sí, es más personas importante. Que, viven, que represente Wait. personas que trabajan duro, que no hacen trampa, que no, este, que no eh, se abusan o se aprovechan o se paran so, sobre los hombros de otros para, para ellos este, hacerse sentir mejor. No, 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 no. No, eh, no, 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 no. Persona. Vamos a ayudarles a desarrollar su persona, a ser gente de bien, personas, mujeres y hombres de bien. Que ayuden a los otros. Eso, eso fue otra cosa de, de, de Samantha, que no, no lo puse en, en la nota. Pero esa niña, toda, to, o sea, desde que estaba en, en la secundaria... Sí, low power. KZNO LP. Entonces se ponía a los otros niñitos. San Diego, so this is the one that Jordan Peer picks up right here in his videos. K-R-P-E, it looks like. De todo. Se pone y dedica parte de su tiempo a ayudarle a otros. Jamás, jamás, jamás ella se para el cuello de eso. Ella siente que es algo que le da a ella mucho más de lo que... Maybe the reason why this is still on the air is because you can cross the border and find an old CRT TV on the tra in the trash and be able to watch your Guadalupe TV. That's 
And, and it's at the bottom of the FM broadcast band. So anyway, that's a... I don't know what year this is. Made in Japan. Sony Trinitron. Maybe I'll pop it open. Well, this is kind of cool. This is not that new. Maybe this is 80s. Look at how many adjustments it has. And look at the old TO3 package transistor. What is a regout transistor? Oh, regulator out. Hey, Jason JJ Cruz. What's up with this floppy uh, circuit board just kind of floating in here? It's supposed to be snapped in. Wonder what? Oh, baked. Try and do my best to get that back in there. Yeah, this is built very well. And this looks like it's pretty low hour, too. I don't see any hot. There's not a lot of dirt on the flyback. Plenty of adjustments. This is a keeper for somebody who's into these old Sonys. Let me try and get that board back in there. I got the board back in there, snapped in place. I see date codes 93 in here. I wonder if it's that new. And look at this thing. This thing is cool. says river on top of it so anyway AGC UAGC VAGC this has got separate uh, AGC's for the UHF and VHF Okay, well, there's a bonus look at a Sony KV-1222R, uh, I guess, 12-inch portable early 1990s color television. Someone just handed it to me and said, take it. So, thanks for watching the show-and-tell videos probably have another one next week and then we'll get back to the repair after that.